can be very emotional, especially playing a piece like the Strauss, which is so so um, deep and, and, and rich in all of the, the emotion that goes into playing it. And to have your father on the podium, it's something very special. But the real, the real pleasure for me having my father there is that he is a great conductor and that makes my life easy and I can be as expressive as I want without the fear of losing ground with the orchestra or with the, con with the conductor because we're on the same musical page and we understand each other's musical temperament so well that it's easy for us to, to communicate. He is so intensely studying the music more so than I because I have a lot of things to study and he's studying his concerto and he often the expression I use, he keeps me honest because he reminds me of things that I have to continue to do to grow artistically and that's from from a 23 year old but that's the way it's supposed to be and so yeah, it's thrilling for me. The difference between a great old instrument and a great modern instrument is more that the sound of the older instrument can potentially have more complexity and it can have more color. As I mentioned, that I have the ability to make more color on this as I've grown to be able to work with the cello and have a greater understanding of how sound is produced with it. Therefore, I can make more color than sometimes on a modern instrument where I would use the same techniques to make this the color on the modern instrument, yet I wouldn't get all of those colors because it's not in the palette. Um, it's just like a painter working with more variation in color than less variation. You, you can still make a beautiful painting with less variation in color, but it just adds more complexity and more depth. So I hope that the audience, especially in this very programmatic work, I'll be able to bring a lot of color to, to the performance. Whether you know the story or you don't know the story, I don't think it matters because the music has so much character, so much imagination, charm. It's funny at times. It's sensitive and sensuous. It's, it has everything. And as you sit there listening to it, you don't have to think about what Don Quixote is doing at this moment. What is he making believe he's a knight, making believe he's a great lover? It doesn't really matter. The music speaks for itself. And so what all we can do is make a great, committed, exciting performance and hopefully uh, the audience will be touched by that.